right. Recording in progress, okay? Welcome back. So what I am doing on my computer, I have Eclipse ID, but it's not showing me where it is, okay? It's not showing where it is. How I can find my Eclipse ID on Mac? I just press on Control Spacebar. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. I just press on Control Spacebar and type Eclipse. Rudy is there. Okay. So I again just press command and space bar, then type E and Eclipse pops up, okay? Then double click here or just press enter. Eclipse is being opened, okay? Then click on launch. Eclipse launch. Hello. Okay. Yes, welcome back. Now, I open my Eclipse, okay? Now I open my Eclipse. This is my Eclipse. So what I can do, I can actually delete everything. Let me delete everything. I want to start in a fresh eclipse. I just decline it. Okay, I just delete everything. We have to delete one by one. I'm sorry. Okay, so your Eclipse will be like this, fresh, okay? You can click on create Maven project if you want Maven project, or you can create a Java project from file, new, okay? Go to project or Maven project. I can choose Maven project. If I choose Maven project, I have to check in create simple project, then click on next. Then I can say com.java then artifact ID is the project name, name of the project. My project name is Java Tutorial. Say for example, I can name it anything, but always remember name should be meaningful. Click on finish button. My Maven project has been created, right? Now, this is my Maven project. In the first two package or folder, developers work, software engineers work, okay? They write codes here. And we the automation engineers, software development engineer tests, we use this too, okay? Since we are dealing with Java, I can use this one, no problem. Now we are playing the role of a programmer, a developer, a software engineer, okay? So I create here a package. Now package is nothing but a folder, just a folder where we can store more than one class, 
okay class or file we say file also java file meaning java class uh, we can we can say package is a set of classes okay collection of classes is better word class so i am creating a java package and name of the package is basic java you see basic b is small letter <coughs> package create a new java package with always small cap okay then click on finish basic java package has been created now ignatius could you please tell me what is package package is just empty folders okay that holds classes okay so okay. collections collection of classes right button click here now we want to create class now in automation every single day we will be creating maybe five to ten classes okay this is our job okay. remember without creating class we cannot work now question is what is class class is nothing but blueprints blueprint anything you want to create you need a blueprint say for example a car company want to create a new car what they will do they will hire a designer first they will create a design design is blueprint okay mm -hmm. once they design it they will create or make the car now design or blueprint is the class and when car is made the product car and product is the object this is the core concept of any programming language okay so let me create a car class and i just press enter or click on finish button when i press enter car class had, has been created public is keyword class is another keyword that we need to create any class any blueprint this is just a blueprint from where we are going to create object okay this is blueprint this class is just a blueprint this is just a design from this design we are going to create object okay we are going to create object so i can say slash star then press enter we call it multi line comments this is multi line comments meaning whatever whatever i write inside this multi line comments nothing will be printed nothing will be running whatever we write inside that comments comments are two types in java comments you can say are two types one is single line comment when we comment just one line we use double slash this is single line comment and multi line comment is this one okay 
Now, we already learned about class. What is class? Class is nothing but, but a blueprint. blueprint. Or design. design is... Or template. Mm -hmm. To make an Prototype. object. Why? To create an object. object. Or project. We call it end product. Okay, end product. Say, for example, a company want to uh, make a TV, new TV, new product, and this is television. First, they will do little research and they will hire a designer who can design the blueprints of the TV. And from blueprints, the company will make N number TV, thousands of TVs, using the blueprint. Blueprint is class and TV is object. Clear? So if you understand this concept, now it will easy to understand Java. It will help us to understand complete Java programming. Okay? So object and now I say what do we find inside class? What mm -hmm. do we have inside that class? Inside that class, we find three things or three members. We call it members also. And these are, one is, let me make it a little bigger so that you can see it well. Okay, can yeah. Now? Yeah. Just, just control plus to make it bigger. And in window, it is, no. Command, command plus for- Command plus for my in book. window, control plus. Okay, one is, I say, states and states are actually properties attributes or fields okay clear yeah what are states states are nothing but a character that defines whatever we have, whatever you have. You have name, you have age, you have religion, you have money, you have car, you have house. What you own is properties, attributes, fields. And Whatever you have ability to do something, you have you can do something also, right? This is called behavior or behaviors, and these behaviors are called methods. And these methods are actions. Okay, and in some programming language, we say also functions, but in Java, we say methods, okay? And we have also another member inside that class. This is main method. Whenever you see parentheses, it means it is a method, it is, action, it is function. It's saying something, the capability of doing action, doing something, okay? Methods. 
main methods. Okay. Now let's see what are these three things inside the class. This is our class, right? This is our class. It starts here. Class scope starts here in class scope ends here. This is single line comment. You see, single line comment is double slash only. Class scope ends here. Okay, now around 10 minutes, we listen to lecture, okay? Now let me demonstrate what are these three things, okay? First, I said we have states. This car has three characters, not three, two characters. One is states, another one is behaviors. Okay, let's see what are the states of the upper car, okay? I just say string and I take name of the car is Tesla. You see, I say, it, I say, this variable, what kind of variable it is? It is string. What is string? String is combination of letters and numbers, either letters or letters and numbers. Now, whenever we write string, string goes inside quotation mark, okay? Uh, always remember strings go inside quotation marks, quotation marks like this, okay? So whatever you write, quotation, what is the quotation? I you think first. You first, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, thank you. Okay, it goes inside quotation marks because this is string, okay? Now, try to understand this concept, this is variable. I told you variable in any programming language, variable is nothing but a container that stores or holds data or information. So this is name variable. Inside the name, we store name of the car, okay? And this type of data, type of data or information is string, okay? Now, we have stored Tesla inside name variable. Now, if we print name, we will find Tesla, right? Okay. And this car has also price. Say, for example, price is $10,000. Okay. And this in many integer completes number. Since it is not string, we do not need to put inside the quotation. Remember, int meanings integer. 
integer int is a complete number. Okay. Now, what are these two? These are states. These are states or properties or attribute or fields. Which one? These two. States of car. Okay. States of car. Now, I said we have also behavior inside the class. We have states. We have also behaviors, right? Behaviors are nothing but methods. Methods are actions, mm -hmm. functions, ability to do something, ability to do something of this class, car class, okay? Now, let's say public, actually it can be public or without public, don't worry about it, what is public? It is just a keyword, public void. Then name of the method or behavior, car can do something. What is the ability of car? What can car do? Car can say for example, run. After run, we put parenthesis. This is called parenthesis, right? Mm -hmm. Parenthesis, parenthesis bracket. Whenever you see parenthesis, always keep oh. in mind it is a method. Whenever you see parenthesis, it is a method. <clears throat> it is an action. It is a function. It is a behavior. Behavior of car. Okay? Clear? And the scope of the method starts here. Okay? And the scope of the same method ends where? Can you tell me? Here, right? It ends here. Now, remember the concept of scope is very important. You have to understand the class scope and the method scope, okay? Scope is power actually. The power of the class car starts here and it ends where? Here, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a class scope, but the method scope starts here and ends here. So which scope is bigger? The class scope. Definitely, definitely. Class scope is always bigger, larger, larger scope. And that is why class scope is called global. Class scope is global. It covers everything. But method scope is local. So class scope, we can put a note here, class, scopes are global but or we can say international yeah but in programming we say global yeah. it is international okay method mm. scope is local clear now we are building building our blocks, we are building our concepts 
clear on core concept of Java. We call it core concepts. Concepts, okay? Mm -hmm. So inside this method, we can write anything, anything. We say method is a block of code or codes that only runs or executes when it is called by name. This is the definition of method. Mm -hmm. In interview, interviewer will ask you, what is method? Could you please explain? So you have to tell block is a, sorry, method is a block of codes that only runs or executes when it is called by name. Meaning the method name is run. This is the name of this method. If you want to execute whatever inside of this method, you have to call by name. Like if I tell you, hey, write a line of code. Now both of you will be confused whom I am telling you to write it, right? So I have to call by name. I have to say, hey, Mr. Pagado, Mr. Rudy, could you please write this line of code then? Rudy will respond. If I just say, hey, copy this line. Now, both of you will be confused whom he is telling to write it. So I have to call by name first. I have to say, hey, Mr. Ignatius, could you please copy it? So whenever you want a method to run or execute or work or function or to take action, you have to call it by name or function will not understand. He will not, it will not responses. It will not response if you don't call by name, okay? What do I mean? Let me explain. Let me demonstrate in practical, okay? I just say, I just type system dot out, out is output. Then I say print ln, okay? And I say, this is a method, okay? Since this is a method is string, I put inside correction, remember. Then every line of code in Java program, you have to end or terminate with full stop, right? Semicolon. Semicolon. We call it semicolon also. Semicolon or semicolon. Remember, not full stop. Always you have to terminate Java code with semicolon. These are silly question, but some interviewers love to ask you these basic questions. How do you terminate your Java program? What will be your answer? Your answer will be? Ends with semicolon. Yeah. Every Java program or code ends or terminates right. with a semi 
colon. I'm not sure the. That's the spelling. Yeah, you're right. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, let's try to execute it. Our definition of method says method is a block of code that only runs or executes when it is called by name. We are not calling by name. I just run it. I just run it. You see? It didn't do anything because we didn't call it by name. To call it by name, now we have to actually create object. Now this car class is still a design, just still a blueprint, not yet an object. Now in programming language, how we create object? We create object from class, we know it, right? This is class, this is blueprint. These are blueprints, everything is blueprint and inside the blueprint, we have state, we have behavior. This is state, this is behavior, right? Mm. And we have one more thing inside, we say, and this is what? Main method. Main. Main method. So I just type main, then press on command space bar. Sorry, I make mistake. There is, I type main, then it is control space bar, but yes, control space bar. Control space bar, then press on enter. Where is enter? I don't find enter. Enter is return, right? Yes. On window, it is enter. On Mac, it is return. return. Okay. And now this is main method, right? What is main method? Main method is the entry point. In Java, what does it mean? Entry point means without this main method, nothing will be executed. We nothing will run. To run, we need main method. How do you know it is main method? Because there is a word main and there is parenthesis whatever whenever you see parenthesis after a word this is a method i told you right so this is main method and to run anything from main method we have to first create object to the class object for the class. This is class, car class. Oh, how many minutes we left? Five minutes, okay. We can complete, I think. Then I just copy car. This is object, right? Creating object, yeah. It is, is object the, or class? class. Yeah. Car is class or object? This is class, remember, you see, car class, car. I just copy it here. So it is a? Class name. Class, class name. Name of the class is car, oh. okay? How we create object? I just type here equal sign, then I say new keyword. New is a keyword. How many keywords are there in Java? Can you remember? Is it 67? 67. Yes, very good. 67 keywords in Java. I showed you yesterday. Uh, just go to Google and type Java keywords. 
it will show you inside the uh, encyclopedia, right? It is. Uh, you will find it there. If you say there are more than 50 keywords in Java, this is also correct answer. There were 50 few years ago. Now it is 67. New and I type here class parenthesis then semicolon. Okay, this is object created from this class. Now, this is object, new object created from car class. And we have to tell where is this object located? And what is the reference, right? value? reference value? Yeah, this is called reference variable. And there should be car, a class or the car again the class name this is oh sorry 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 this is car right good catch okay so this is car class and from this car class we are creating this new object and we put this new object inside car one variable you know variable concepts is being applied here. And this is not object. Now, many people say this is object, but we name it also variable object. Some, some say variable object, but always remember this is just variable and we call it reference variable because it is referring to the new object. Okay, now we can print system system dot out dot print ln Okay, we can print car one. Now, why I'm telling you this is not an object, but it's referring to the path of this new object. If you execute it, run as Java application. Now look what gets printed, you see? basic java dot car at the rate this is the path of the new object okay the new object stored in a computer memory and this is the path of that memory okay now What is the purpose of this creating object? Purpose of creating object is to access all the states and behaviors of the class. Could you please repeat what I said? What is the purpose of creating object? This is interview question. Or they might ask you, why do you create object? Why do you create object from class? Why it is necessary to create the object? 